Okay, so I'm about to leave this economy motel room and I am pregnant and starved by my enemies in the land. So as y'all saw, um, my baby bump was well out to here and they had uh, a black terrorist bring me to this motel. He's knocking at the door right now because I'm, oh no, that's probably room service, hold on. They don't want, they had a black terrorist. Um, I'm at the Economy Motel on Glenwood Road and they're trying to leave me, make me leave the room now, starved. A black terrorist brought me to this room um, and was pretending to try to help me and the baby left us in the room claiming that he would come and give us food to eat for days at a time, starving us in the room. And I put it all over my social media, I was crying. And this entire establishment is involved with starving us uh, from the front desk to everybody in the rooms, to everybody at the gas station, all the restaurants. Um, I'm on Glenwood Road and 285. And now they're making me leave this motel room, uh, starved like this. Okay, housekeeper, hold on. I'm letting them know how, how about my pregnancy. So um, she knows what's involved. Um, the, the entire government is involved. So I want y'all to know that all the establishments um, from on Glenwood Road and 285 was involved with trying to have me buy a restaurant that was trying to close the dining area, Miss Winters. Um, the, the, the black terrorist was refusing to come and bring us meals. They starved us two, two consecutive days for 24 hours, uh, for 30 hours, and for over 40 hours last night. And they shrunk my baby bump down. He raped me inside of the motel room for a meal, for a meal. And uh, she, she knows why I'm, I'm making this video and I'm telling, oh, I'm coming out of the room, baby, but I'm gonna tell them about what this man did. Hello. I'm, I'm coming out, I'm getting my stuff. Then she's trying to kick me out of the room while I'm telling about the black terrorists that brought me in the room and starved me in this room. So, uh, hold on, I'm telling about my baby that got starved up in this room. And she's trying, I'm a queen, I'm calling Africa, I'm calling Africa, I'm calling Africa, I'm calling Africa, I'm calling Israel, I'm calling Mexico, I'm calling everybody. Because y'all see my baby bump and I told y'all that all the African Americans in this country were starving me and this is what they did to my baby bump up in this room. And y'all heard me nicely ask her to give me a second to come out. And she's all trying to bust up in the room while I'm showing y'all my star baby bump. So I'm about to leave and they're trying to stage arrest. They had a black male starve me in the motel room and I'm about to leave. They tried to have him plot it on my hair and my nails and my clothes and make me leave out of here starved and this entire establishment was involved. So she's trying to hurry up and kick me out the room um, it's 11.30, but they all know that this man was saying that he would come back and get me. And he was saying that he would, um, I'm going to keep the scarf, scarf on my head for a minute. He was saying that he would come back and get me. And he was saying that he would get me another weekly and was lying and was starving me. And everybody in America is involved. So anybody can come on American soil from any continent and come and help us fight. Um, they started me pregnant and took my son at 22 months old and threatened to rape and kill him because I shot a white man and they have not returned my son. So they had the entire country label me pregnant. They did war tactics on me. They kept me as a war prisoner pregnant in the Montgomery County Jail in Conroe, Texas, and they starved and tortured this baby and me. And they are starving and torturing us right now all over the uh, state of city of Atlanta. And all I have is this knife to protect myself. And I know y'all can see that I'm a child. So being that I have been showing y'all my baby bump, they thought they were smart and that they were gonna bring me in this motel room for a week and have the man starve me. So um, she's trying to uh, do, do witchcraft, trying to bust in the motel room after I asked her to hold on a second because she knows that we 
we were in here being starved. Um, Keisha Lance Bottoms, Michelle Obama, Beyonce knows, um, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, all of these women know that I was being held in a Montgomery County jail for shooting a white man in self-defense and that they were starving me and they were trying to kill the baby. And the baby is still alive. So the lawsuit is worth $300 million because they threatened to rape my son and kill him and they showing me pictures and they have not returned him alive. And I'm pregnant with a baby that they done tortured. The baby's still alive, won't tell the truth about the ultrasounds, and they put us out of shelters and are having gang members rape me and causing me to be raped for food. So this is why y'all can come on the land because when people start talking about they're gonna rape two-year-olds and starve newborns, then they bread for us. They up for grabs. Y'all can come to this country and expose this. My lawsuit is worth 300 million. I'm not lying. All the evidence is all over my channel. Uh, the baby's heartbeat. I got nine channels. The Lion of Judah Child Abduction, Queen Andrea Antoinette Jones, Queen of Halo, The Silk Ministry, Leaving Egypt, The Andrea Jones Case, God Defeat, God Defeat Freemasons, they got the black Freemasons helping them, black men, to starve me and threaten to rape and murder my child for shooting a white male in self-defense who was my child father and I'm pregnant by him. So this baby is a million dollar baby and they're trying to kill it. And it's still alive after three years because I believe in Jesus Christ and he kept the baby alive. So being that the lawsuit is worth millions, hundreds of millions, anybody, any king or authority or queen that comes with your people to America and make your way here, whether it's water, land, air, I will give your country millions of dollars. I will give them millions because the, the African Americans are selling me out to get charges dropped. They selling us out for gift cards. They are selling me and my babies out to be murdered for, uh, excuse me, y'all gotta, y'all gotta excuse me because I'm trying to get out this room um, with this stuff and I want to show y'all how they having me leave the room with this bag with my uh, toiletries, hygiene stuff. Um, they have me, and I'm, I'm, I'm an African Indian, uh, but I'm also from Israel. Uh, I got, I got bloodline, uh, and, uh, from all over. This is my, uh, book bag that I'm going to be carrying on my back. God told me I should have just stayed outside because I was able to get food outside. Um, they caused me to have to leave my waters behind, and we don't have a dime. Uh, we don't have not the, we don't have one dime um, to get us anything to eat. We don't have a dime to get on the bus. Um, they know that I'm pregnant, and they got all of these African American women uh, that they should be helping me because my lawsuit is worth so much. I had one woman say that uh, in the spirit that she would give she wanted a million dollars to represent me just for my bank account. So I'm worth that much. And they over here selling me out, out of jealousy and getting perks. You know, they've been getting, giving them cars to try to set me and the baby up to be murdered and starve us. They've been giving, getting them charges dropped for serious crimes. Um, they have people who have murder charges involved. Um, they have had them pulling out guns on me. So I need men to come over here who have guns. And I need women to come over here who have weapons. And I'm telling you, go look at the evidence on my channel and you will see all these black people abusing me with these people. You will see that I am pregnant. You will see the evidence of me coming out of that jail 2019, pregnant with the baby. You will see that my child father is a convicted felon, just got indicted on several more felony charges for assault with a deadly weapon. And on a family member and they're trying to set me and the baby up to be murdered and starve us like I'm not pregnant outside on the streets like they don't have to uh, have my back as black people so I'm willing to give y'all millions of dollars to come here and help me before they murder me 
because once you look at the evidence, excuse me, I'm zipping up my backpack. Um, once you look at the evidence, you will see that I'm telling the truth about being pregnant and you will see them abusing me openly like they're not going to get caught or like nobody is going to make them pay. And they're doing it under Joe Biden's administration because my child father is a white male and he was shot and he's a convicted felon. And the charges on me are dropped, but I was protecting myself and my small child. He was 22 months old. And y'all know how these Americans are when they go to, when they feel like one of theirs got hurt and they feel like they're going to war with somebody. They took my son and threatened to rape and kill him. And then they never gave him back. And I was pregnant. And they got black men bringing me into locations and they starved my baby bump down this much. And you will see videos of me crying while they were starving it and how big it was and see me crying in this room while they were starving it. And they feel like because my family is setting me up to be murdered for money and status instead of standing up for me, they feel like they can just bully me on the land and get away with it. So I'm offering y'all millions of dollars because my case is worth 300 million. And the reason why I'm going to put some faith on my God name, his name is Jehovah. Jesus Christ told me to say Jehovah deliver me while they was trying to murder me and this baby in the cell. I know y'all see how ridiculously small my belly is. So this is wrong. And the baby is still alive. I just recorded the baby heartbeat like three or four days ago and posted it on my site with my fetal heart monitor. And I've been carrying the baby for three years. For three years. And the baby heartbeat is still good. So with people who are in the Holy Land and African people that know about Jehovah, you know about witchcraft. They try to do a witchcraft death ritual on my pregnancy and on me and my son. So y'all know that in Kenya, they execute witches. And in England, they used to execute witches. The whole country is doing witchcraft. And the whole country is lying about my pregnancy. From the hospital, the doctors, the nurses, my sisters, my cousins, my auntie, my granny, my baby daddy, uh, the president, to the White House, the nurses, the mayor, the, uh, all the black men that they had bringing me into locations that knew I was pregnant. Everybody's trying to lie and say it was a tumor. And so they tried to have the black man bring me here and shrink it down. And I haven't eaten anything yesterday. I didn't eat nothing today. We don't have no money. They have every intention of keeping starving us until my stomach is flat. They have every intention of trying to fight anybody and kill anybody that try to come over here and help me with this baby because they threatened to rape and kill my son and don't want to give him back to me. And they don't want to give me a loss, a, a settlement. God said it's worth hundreds of millions what they did. So if you go look at my channel and see, them closing down uh, restaurants. They closed down McDonald's restaurant to stop me from coming in there and getting food. They closed down Burger King restaurant. They closed down all these different restaurants. Wendy's, when I'm coming in to dine and get food, they closed it like, oh, that's pregnant Andrea Jones who shot the white boy and the baby's still alive. Starve her. Don't let her in the restaurant. So when you see all this abuse, me falling out on the ground on the highway, they about to make me walk up the highway right now pregnant and try to pretend like I'm not pregnant. So so they're going to continue to think that they're going to abuse me out there and say, oh, her stomach is shrunk down low enough to make it seem like she's not pregnant. So now we're not going to get in trouble for all of the stuff that we did to her and what we're about to continue to do to her because they got me leaving here with nowhere to go with not one penny to get on the bus and I'm pregnant, not one penny to eat, not one penny for anything. And so I want y'all to know that you need to come with guns. You need to come with weapons. You need to make it here. I don't care if they close down the airports because they starving a pregnant black woman. They all involved. It's a military operation. They making war with me for shooting a white boy and white man in the leg in self-defense. And I'm pregnant by him and God says that I'm pressing charges on him. And I could have told y'all just fine, but she came in there trying to rile me up because the witches want me to be yelling while I'm telling you guys, instead of just telling y'all what's going on like a queen. So um, this is how uh, I, I packed as much water as I could. And this is how they got me leaving out of this room. I'm at the Economy Inn um, on Glenwood Road. And 
I want to see if I can get a video of the baby moving in my stomach before I walk out this room. And ain't no baby that small. If I was if I was so-called just 20 weeks, the baby would not be moving like this. I've been carrying this baby for three years, and that's why you're about to see my stomach moving like this.